What's going on YouTube? OCD for CNC here. What I've got for your face balls today. This is a little update on the Rat Rig V Core 3 printer. Uh, getting all the wiring and everything done. It's been a little bit of a pain, uh, mainly just because I was missing a few items. Uh, but this is the extent of the electronics here. So we've got two power supplies. Uh, this one here being a 24 volt power supply. This one here is a 48 volt. Uh, all my motion system, all the uh, stepper motors are going to run on 48 volts. This here is the brand new Big Tree Tech Octopus Pro. Uh, this happens to be with the 429 chipset um, and um, motherboard, by the way, if I didn't say that already. It's got uh, TMC5160 stepper motor drivers. <clears throat> We've got a Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, with the adapter board from Big Tree Tech, which is this component right here. It's a daughter board that plugs right onto uh, the GPIO pins of the Raspberry Pi. And then we have this adapter board right here. Uh, this is just powered off 24 volts. Uh, we've got uh, these CAN bus uh, connectors here, and we're gonna talk more about that in just a moment. So this printer is running uh, not only the Raspberry Pi, uh, of course, this printer is going to run on Clipper. And I have the Big Tree Tech Hermit Crab that was supplied uh, by Big Tree Tech. Thank you so much uh, for sending that over. Super cool. And <clears throat> the wiring for this is, is quite interesting. So we're going to talk about that. Uh, of course, all the green items that you see here are all mounts and stuff that I just designed and printed myself. So this mount here to hold the Raspberry Pi and that adapter board, <clears throat> as well as a mount for the Octopus Pro board. And then I made this box right here, which this lid does come off. Uh, and what I've got in there is actually the uh, power supply for the Raspberry Pi. Uh, and then I've got two IEC uh, outlets over here, switched and fused outlets. Uh, one of them is running both power supplies uh, for the 120 volts. And then this one here runs the heated bed and the power supply for the uh, Raspberry Pi. Uh, I did it that way because with my solid state relay here, I want to be able to, to leave the, the Pi powered up. Um, and so I split those onto two separate uh, switches. And because my solid state relay here controls my bed power, leaving the 110 volts uh, or 120 volts on uh, shouldn't be a problem. Uh, but so we'll, uh, we'll see how that works out. You know, potentially there might be some changes here. All right. So uh, this... Hermit Crab Kit is one of the things. Let me move this camera here a little bit. Uh, like I said, this was sent over by Big Tree Tech and is a really, really cool setup. I've greatly enjoyed it, uh, but, you know, it comes with these... Uh, uh, it's a quick tool change, if you guys are not familiar with the Hermit Crab. And these are the plates right here, the tool plates. So you can see here, I've got a Big Tree Tech uh, H2 extruder. This is the new uh, uh, V2 version, the all metal version uh, uh, with the stainless steel gears. Uh, pretty cool little uh, extruder. I actually use this on another one of my printers. It works fantastic and it's an awesome, awesome little uh, direct drive extruder. So I'm gonna get this one set up on one of the tool plates and then I've got a couple other extruders that we're also going to use. Uh, but, so this comes with three of these plates, uh, and as well as, like I said, this uh, adapter board here for the Raspberry Pi. And this adapter board also come in the package if you get the CAN package, or C-A-N. Uh, it's specific to um, uh, Clipper firmware. So, if you're going to use uh, the... Uh, Hermit Crab. If you have a standard printer that's running Marlin or some other firmware, you're going to want just the standard standard uh, Hermit Crab kit. But if you're running Clipper, then you can utilize uh, this uh, CAN kit or CAN kit here, which comes with the the uh, adapter boards. And one of the things that that allows is for 
a wiring strategy, which just to show you guys here. So if this would be your kind of standard uh, wiring setup out to your print head or the, uh, the stationary side of this uh, quick tool change, and there's a PCB where, of course, you know, all these pins line up. So you've got power for the extruder stepper motor as well as, you know, the hot end, the thermistor, fans. Um, you know, if you have like a, a BL touch uh, bed leveling sensor or something like that, all that stuff needs to be powered off of the print head. And so this is all the wires that you would normally have going to that setup. So coming from the motherboard out to the print head. Well, with this is one of the, the strategies, and this is the one that I'm using uh, with the Hermit Crab Can setup. So you have this daughter board that goes on to the Raspberry Pi, and then you have this adapter board uh, that uh, sits off to the side, which are the two boards that I showed you. And then you have an RJ12, which is very important because I screwed up, and we're gonna get into that in just a moment but you have an RJ12 cable that runs from the motherboard over to the adapter board, and then from the adapter board over to the other adapter board, the daughter board that's on the Raspberry Pi. And then you have just a USB-C cable that runs from the adapter board over to the, uh, the fixed plate of uh, circuit board or PCB. So it's, it's a really interesting setup where you only have just that USB-C cable running out to the print head, which here's mine right here. <clears throat> and you can see this USB-C is plugged in right there. And we've got this RJ12 uh, connection going from here over to here. <clears throat> and then we have to have another RJ12 going from this port right here down to the motherboard. Well, so in the instructions, I was not super familiar with the RJ12, RJ11 connector. And you can see right here that in the book with the Big Tree Tech Hermit Crab, it says that this is an RJ11 connector. You can see that right there. Well, what I found out is, is that an RJ11 is, uh, it does plug in there physically. It is the right connection. However, these are like standard phone cables and an RJ11 only has four conductors where an RJ12 has six conductors. Now the RJ11 does have space for the other two conductors. However, they're just not in there. So I bought this cable based off of this paperwork saying RJ11. So, and like I said, it does uh, physically it plugs in to the connection, uh, so that part is correct. However, we're missing two wires. So I had to order the right cable, and I don't have it yet. I still have, I'm still waiting on a couple pieces of cable chain, so I can finish up. You can see that uh, my bed wiring is right there. Uh, that's the uh, high voltage for the heated bed, as well as the thermistor. Uh, here are some uh, 130 degree uh, thermal fuses. And so I'm gonna install one of these just for an added layer of protection because I am running a uh, 120 volt uh, heated bed. And then I also got something else pretty cool because I want, uh, yeah, on this printer, the bed is fairly easy to remove. Uh, I ended up trying to come up with a good way and a good set of plugs that I could, you know, plug in and unplug uh, whenever I needed if I want to remove the bed from the printer. So I ended up going with uh, some RC car plugs. So this one's going to be for my high voltage. The smaller one is going to be for the thermistor wires. But these are, you know, really good connectors that are meant to be kind of moved around and shaken and beaten on and all that sort of stuff. So instead of using, you know, some connector that's meant to be stationary, I wanted to use something that's uh, good quality. And so I got some really nice uh, 
RC car connectors, which I think are going to work perfectly. They're just, you know, battery connectors for RC car stuff. And yeah, so we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. Um, and we're, you know, I'm literally just one cable as well as uh, some cable chain away from firing this thing up. I'm super pumped. Hopefully we'll get this little girl fired up here very soon. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. So my other uh, connection from my solid state relay will run up there, but you can see all the rest of the wiring is complete everything's done we've got motor power here coming from the 48 volt transformer uh, as well as uh, 24 volts for the other uh, stuff going on here 24 volts for the solid state relay <clears throat> stepper motors are all wired uh, i still have to hook up the thermistor from the bed and then hopefully uh, this usb-c is going to take care of all the wiring uh, connections going out to my print head which if it does work that way, that's going to be super awesome. So I'll keep you posted on how this works out. Uh, the other parts, the cable chain and the RJ12 connector or uh, cable is supposed to be here tomorrow. So we'll have this thing up and running very soon. Um, <clears throat> hopefully, Big Tree Tech will take a look at this uh, manual here and correct the issues with that. Uh, like I said, the RJ12, uh, it is the same plug. However, <clears throat> the uh, the difference is how many conductors you have. And so, you know, obviously that's really important. So anyway, there you go. That's the update on the Rat Rig V-Core 3. Uh, we're getting, like I said, getting down to the nitty gritty. Everything's wired and we're uh, getting ready to power this old girl up. So Stay tuned. I will show it off once I get her rolling later on. Thanks to Big Tree Tech for sending over some, some parts for this. I greatly appreciate it. And uh, yeah, hopefully this printer is going to be everything I hoped it would. So thanks, guys. Have a good one.